Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I am doing a full demonstration on how to get started with a Cosmos wallet and get Quorum onto the main net. In this video, I am going to also use the Sologenic Bridge. It's important you get familiar with the Sologenic Bridge because in Q1 of 2024, uh, the Sologenic Bridge is going to be two-way. So you could be going back and forth from the XRPL to Quorum Cosmos ecosystem. And um, that's going to include XRP solo eventually, where you could actually send XRP and solo cross chain. The first asset we're testing this bridge with is Corium. So we have Corium tokens on the IOU. I'm going to teach you how to successfully bridge those IOU tokens over to another network, which is Corium, smooth and easy. And I'm going to do every single step. So that you could basically sit down right now and do it with me in this video if you have time. This is going to be a longer video. If you want more of a short and to the point video, I already have four videos up from eight months ago. So I have how to stake Corium for beginners on Leaf Wallet. I have um, how to how to stake Corium with Ledger Live Cold Wallet. I have a bunch of different videos already up that are pretty quick. This is going to be a more extensive video. So what links do you need to have prepared to do this workshop with me today? Remember, this is not financial advice. This is just uh, educational purposes only. Um, you need sologenic.org. We're also going to be downloading a Leap Wallet. In this video, I'm going to download the Leap Wallet extension live with you. Every single step. So uh, what we're gonna do is first, we're going to you know, get access to the decks. And most people who qualified for the airdrop uh, in the first place to get the Quorum IOU tokens, they have the a ZUM wallet or a Sologenic wallet. So I have a ZUM wallet. I have my ZUM wallet here. I guess they changed the name. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect real quick. I am going to connect my ZUM wallet. So you have options. You could also connect your decent wallet, you could connect your ledger device, you could connect your Solodex device and go through this process. And I'm going to connect my ZUM wallet where my Corium IOU tokens are. And I am going to scan the QR code to execute a transaction. I'm going to slide and accept the transaction on my phone. And boom, I am now connected to the uh, Sologenic ecosystem. Uh, I'm going to click bridge at the top. And I want to use the Corium bridge. Let me move my camera. So I want to use the Corium bridge. And I'm going to click Corium. So you can see I have 3,000 Corium sitting in this wallet in this video. Uh, and it's going to ask me how much do I want to send. So I want to send five. But it's going to ask me a receiving wallet address. Enter your Corium address. You may be wondering if you're new to crypto, how do I get my Corium address? How do I find my receiving wallet address? Well, in this video, you're in luck because I'm going to teach you. So on this video, I am going to download the Leap wallet, the Leap Cosmos wallet. Corium is a Cosmos based chain and um, Leap is compatible and most user friendly in my opinion for new Corium, uh, new Corium stakers. So I'm gonna add it to my Chrome. I'm gonna add the extension. So you're seeing we're going through each and every process in this video. It's downloading. Okay, what is really cool about Leap and also Kepler. So what's cool about this, when we create this wallet, I'll talk about this later actually. So you could connect a hardware wallet. So if you have, a, I believe a, like a, a Ledger Live, you could connect your hardware wallet and not have to go through this process. Uh, you could import an existing Cosmos wallet. So if you already have Kepler, you could import your seed phrase in here and import an existing wallet. 
uh, or you could create a wallet. So I'm actually going to create a wallet with you right here. So the secret recovery phase is very, 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 very important. You have to guard this with your life and put it somewhere very clever, very safe. And basically, they're going to ask you right now for, they're going to give you 12 wards. Uh, I write them down on a piece of paper like this or like a note paper. I write them down one by one by one. And uh, I triple double check. I got all the right spelling that I did everything correct in the right order. And, um, you know, this is basically your keys to your assets. If you ever lose your phone and you can't get into your leap wallet anymore, it's okay. You just go into wherever you stored your keys and download a new leap wallet insert these keys and you could import your funds anywhere in the world. What else is important about these are, let's say you don't like Leap Wallet. You don't like the interface. I don't like Leap Wallet. I want to go to another Cosmos wallet. There's options. There's a lot of options. Some people say my favorite's Cosmos Station. Some people say my favorite's Kepler. Other people say my favorite's Leap. You could access the same tokens in all the wallets if you import these keys right here. So I'm doing this all live with you. This would be my keys. Um, you could copy it. I don't believe it's that safe to store on your computer in notes or don't leave it like in Gmail. Make sure you physically write it down. I think most people would say that. And uh, then you're gonna confirm, actually, let me, um, So four, eight, and 12, I need to remember. Four is noise, eight is display, 12 is birth. This is just gonna be a throwaway wallet for me. And now I'm gonna choose a password. Zen, lounge, uh, one, two, three. So choose a password that you'll remember, then lounge one, two, three. And now I have my password. The password will be basically to access your, um, watch, you'll see. So let's see, I already have a Kepler. This is what I typically use. So uh, we're showing Leap Wallet, open up Leap Wallet. Normally it's going to ask me for a password. Whether you're on your phone, the mobile app, or whether you're on, the extension, uh, the first thing that's going to pop up is Cosmos, Adam. You're going to notice this wallet could, is compatible with all the Cosmos ecosystem. So if you want to explore into other assets in Cosmos, you only need one wallet to do that. So we click here and we could either scroll and find Corium or we could type here and type in Corium. And I type Corium. And boom, this right here is the magic thing. This is our address. So I could copy it here or I could click receive and copy it here, two options. This is my Quorum address. It should always start with four one. You'll notice on your XRP wallet, it starts with the R. Quorum on mainnet, your tokens will have a uh, basically an address symbol of core one. That's how you know you're on the mainnet. So I am going to go back now to the Sologenic bridge now that I've created a wallet and I am going to paste it in here. And I am sending five Corium over through the bridge. And it's going to ask me to sign this from my Zum wallet. I just did it, transaction just signed. And uh, it's going to, uh, boom. So your core bridging is in progress. Uh, this is a transaction hash, you could save this. Uh, the bridge has been working very, very smooth lately. Um, back in the day when it first launched, it was very slow. It could take up to 24 hours, 48 hours. Lately, Everybody that I've been helping with 
So I do do one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching calls with a lot of people. Um, so everybody that's been helping with lately, it's been like blazing fast. So let's see how long it takes this time. Nothing yet. So um, we just sit here and patiently wait. So the staking rewards right now are between 21 and 26%. So staking here is one of the things that could that happens when you stake, which is very important to understand. When you stake your tokens, the cool thing about having it on the XRP ledger is um, there's a liquid market. So you could buy and sell anytime. Uh, you could also do uh, it in Cosmos, but you'll have to move your Corium to the Osmosis Exchange to buy and sell right now until the Pulsera Dex goes live. But um, we're talking about staking in this video. So what are one of the what are what is one of the downfalls of staking? When you stake, you lock up your tokens and you lock them up for a minimum of seven days. So you're locking them up, and you're provided your tokens are providing economic security uh, to the network, and at the same time you also qualify for governance when you stake your tokens. And when you stake your tokens, you also earn the rewards, but it's just really important to understand that your tokens are locked for seven days. So if you need emergency funds, you have to unstake and wait seven days, plan seven days ahead for your tokens to become liquid. So we're patiently waiting, we're patiently waiting. So let's see if the tokens have showed up. So I'm gonna click my extension one more time. And boom, I have five Corium tokens uh, available. This is all I need to do to qualify for the airdrop. I am now on the Corium mainnet. But let's say I wanna take it one step further. So we're now living on the Corium mainnet. We have the official layer one native Corium token now. We burn the IOU. By the way, ZUM is going to, when you shut, when you have ZUM and you're going through this bridge, there's going to be a warning sign that says, warning, your Corium tokens are going to be black hold. Like, and then you're going to say yes. Because we're actually burning the IOU tokens. Once you burn them, it allows you to basically bridge the native one into your wallet. So it's all one-to-one -one and everything's accounted for. Now, let's say I want to earn some of the yield. So we could check on the Blockchain Explorer. You could also type in your address here at Explorer Corium. And uh, this is way because sometimes it might take a long time. You might be stressing, um, you know, where are your tokens? We search your address in the Corium and you can see how many tokens you have. But mainly, if we go here, the APR is at 28%. So instead of just holding for the holding on the main net to get the airdrop, uh, let's say you want to get the uh, APR as well, staking with the validator. Well, here we're going to stake. Or like I said, once you stake it, your tokens are no longer liquid for at least seven days. Zen Lounge, you select Zen Lounge, search Zen Lounge on the choose validator side. And we are going to stake one token to the Zen Lounge. Okay, I just delegated to Zen Lounge validator. I have one Corium staked. I'm officially a staker in the ecosystem. It shows you right here, breakdown by validator. We have one staked. One thing you have to be aware of, do not stake your entire bag. Make sure to leave, you know, one quorum left behind for gas fees. These aren't gas fees like on Ethereum that are $10, $20. These gas fees are less than a penny. So just make sure you leave some behind for these transactions. So if you want to unbond your tokens, unstake, it's going to need some Corium. So make sure to leave some behind. Now that we have Corium staked, we are able to vote on governance. You can see there's been all these governance. The stakers are able to vote on these proposals that happen. So you could find your uh, governance here where your voice could be heard on chain. You could vote on the future direction of the chain. 
So that is all you need to know in order to be confident that you will qualify for the January 19th airdrop snapshot for a Corium on the Corium mainnet. You do not need to stake to qualify. If you already are staking, you're good to go. There'll be a claim button that comes. There are no trust lines. Trust lines are native to XRP Ledger. With Corium, there'll just be a button you could claim and you'll have the assets in your Corium wallet. So if you enjoyed this content, what else do I have to go over real quick? But yeah, that's it. But if you're staking, you're going to be benefiting with the APR, the staking rewards. So that's important to know. But that's what I got for you. If you enjoy this content, I highly recommend you come over to the Zen Lounge. Or if you need more help, maybe this video you watched it and you're like, I still need help. I would like someone to hold my hand and guide me through the process one-on-one. -on -one. You know, on my website, I don't talk about it much often, but I have consulting options. options. I could do um, consulting one-on-one -on -one crypto help, help you get set up with your wallets to help you use the bridge, whatever it is that you need. Uh, and then I also have the, the website with videos, weekly workshops, and the Discord that you guys could join and become a member of the Zen Lounge if you enjoy this content and want to take it to the next level, your education in DeFi. Be very, very confident. Uh, $15 a month, $150 for the year. Uh, if you want to do crypto, just send me a DM. We could do a crypto transaction. But would love for you guys to join the Zen Lounge. And uh, yeah, guys, so this is my quick video teaching you guys the full step-by-step -step process of getting your Corium onto the main net. Any more questions, any more video suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Peace.